Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in, today in this video we are going to see how to do doping in a 2D and a 3D system and how to design those materials. So you can take any structure right now. I'm just taking this, assume I'm taking this lead sulfate, lead sulfur, this PBS. Okay, I'm having this structure of this material with uh, cubic symmetry. I'm just taking this cubic symmetry of this material, fine. Okay. Initially it was I4MM, now because of the symmetry relaxation it went to cubic, that is F3M3. Okay, fine. So suppose you want, in, in this case if you see all these, these are the lead and these are your sulfur. So if you see all the leads are chemically equivalent and all surfaces are chemically equivalent. Even if you see the uh, repeating unit, the primitive unit cell, this is the primitive unit cell, you are having just you know, one formula unit per unit cell, right? Oxys, uh, the sulfur is in the center and the PV is at the corners, okay? Now just uh, see, you want to replace one of the, you know, you want to replace one of the PV with some other element. Wh how you can do that? So first, what you need to do is, uh, you need to go to the conventional unit cell, okay. Now, you need to change the symmetry to P1. Now, if you see, all these LEDs are not chemically equivalent. All these corners will be equivalent and this face center will be of different type. So now, you can replace either corner or the face center uh, PV with some other element. Suppose I'm just replacing this PV with zinc. I'm doing just assume zinc doping here. So I can modify elements periodic table and I want to replace that PV with something what we need to replace. Suppose tin, press OK. So now we are having this tin. These are tin, SN. Okay. So only the top and bottom surface, this also we need to change to SN so that we'll have a uniform formula. Go to modify and SN. Okay, so right now we are having a formula with a PV, one PV, because uh, not only one PV because these corners are PV and here this face center is also PV, right? So this will contribute to one, half, half, one, and all corners, one. So total two PB and two, this tin, half, 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 half. So two tin. So right now we are having two tin and two PB per unit cell, right? And then we will be having remaining sulfurs that will be four, right, per unit cell. So this is how you can do a doping, right? You can just simply replace those elements in your system, okay? And this is the way of doping. Suppose you are having a zinc oxide, just go to the structures, import, and import, you can just bring out your structures. Okay, uh, I'm interested in zinc oxide. So we'll go to the metal oxides here. And when zinc oxide, okay okay so we are having zinc oxide here open it go to the display style and here you change the color of your lattice first go to the atoms ball and stick model now you are having this zinc oxide uh, lattice so these are your zinc and this is your oxygen so all of the zincs are of uh, same symmetry and chemically equivalent so if you want to replace one of the zinc with some other element you need to go to the build menu symmetry and make p1 now you can replace zinc with some other element that you want suppose you want to replace zinc with zinc with mercury or zinc with copper just put copper and okay so now this copper is zinc is replaced by copper right so this is the way of doing doping in any system. You can take a 3D system or you can take a 2D system and do doping, okay? 
So if you have any doubt pertaining to this video regarding this doping, you can put in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.